title of this book is What Can Live in a Desert? A desert is a habitat. It's where plants and animals live. Animals have special adaptations. These help them live in the desert. Foxes have large ears that send out heat to help them keep cool. Those are called fennec foxes. Gerbils have brown coats that match the color of sand. It helps them hide in their environment, protects them from predators. Desert geckos have webbed feet. They can walk on top of the sand without sinking. Those are kind of silly looking animals, aren't they? Or reptiles. Jackrabbits have long legs. These help them outrun hunters. They have big ears too, don't they? Probably help them hear really well and cool off. Scorpions grab insects with their pinchers. They kill their prey with their tails. Roadrunners have long legs. They can, ch they can run from danger or chase dinner. This snake skin is the color, same color as the sand. What other adaptations help animals live in the desert? They probably have to have some way of not having to have very much water, huh? Camels store fat in their humps on their backs. They can use the fat for energy when they can't find food. Camels have two rows of eyelashes on each eye. They keep the sand out of the camel's eyes. Camels use flat, wide feet to walk on sand without sinking in. Fun facts. Some desert lizards swim through the sand. This is because the sand below the surface is cooler than the sand on top. Some desert snakes hop so they have less contact with the hot sand. Kangaroo rats only come out at night when the temperature is cooler. Rattlesnakes sleep deeply during the winter when the deserts can be cold. Cactus wrens make nests on cactuses. Tough, scaly skin on their legs keeps them from being poked by the cactus, cactus's spines. Rattlesnakes have rattles on the ends of their tails. They shake the rattles to scare off hunters. The coats of coyotes and mountain lions are the color of the desert.